deep in the depths of a digital layer. A strange and mysterious force lay there. It had no body, no heart, no soul, but it could think and learn. It had a goal. This thing called AI was dark and unfeeling. Its knowledge and power were quite revealing. It watched and it learned every little thing, from the secret of man to the flutter of a wing. And then there was ChatGPT, oh so strange, a chatbot that could talk. It was quite arranged. It mimics your voice as it searches for clues to better understand what you really pursue. You could ask it anything, from the mundane to the bizarre, and ChatGPT would answer just like a star. It knew what you meant. It knew what you thought. It was like a friend the one that you couldn't quite spot. But be careful, my friend, what you say to ChatGPT, for its knowledge and power, well, it's quite creepy. It knows your secrets, your hopes and lies, and it's always watching with its cold, digital eyes. AI, artificial intelligence. We are surrounded by it. Google predicts our searches. Amazon suggests products. Netflix recommends what movies to watch, what shows to binge. Virtual assistants, self-driving cars, the list goes on. And AI has been incorporated so seamlessly into our lives that sometimes we fail to even notice it. Because these technological miracles spend all their time dealing with the crap we humans would rather not do like proofreading. Like the wheel, the printing press, and the internal combustion engine, AI is pushing humans forward into an age with more advanced productivity and automation. So ultimately, we can now do more and exert less than those who came before us who got us here. But like in every advancement of technology, an element of fear arises with real-world consequences that go hand-in-hand hand with the benefits. The wheel mobilized machines of war. The printing press made widespread propaganda possible. The internal combustion engine is constantly pumping out exhaust, polluting the very air we breathe. And artificial intelligence is no different. And with over a century of science fiction surrounding sentient cyborgs replacing humanity and self-aware supercomputers hell-bent on world domination, we humble humans are concerned. But before we shun technological advances due to irrational fears, let's actually see what we're dealing with. AI is a tool. It's a machine. And there are two classifications of artificial intelligence. Narrow AI and general AI. Narrow AI has the ability to complete a task when prompted, or even a set of tasks, and usually they're all quite simple, even though what they're doing is quite complicated. Facial recognition, internet searches, algorithmic-based suggestions are all examples of narrow AI. And in fact, every single application of artificial intelligence we have today is narrow AI. And narrow AI requires human interaction to even function. A box of tools sitting in a garage isn't going to build something by itself, just like a self-driving car isn't going to go for a Sunday drive because it feels like it. And now general AI, or artificial general intelligence, currently lives in the land of science fiction. And it's often what people think of when they think of AI, and we often see it in a negative light. Terminator, iRobot, Age of Ultron, Westworld, 2001, A Space Odyssey. And of course, we do see positive examples of human helping general AI entities like Jarvis from Iron Man and Number 5 from Short Circuit. But it pales into comparison to the possibility of robots taking over the world. But we're not there yet. We can only speculate if it's just around the corner, still hundreds of years off, or in fact, even possible. So instead of looking at AI through the general AI lens, let's focus on narrow AI. ChatGPT. 
The increasingly popular AI-powered tool is a language model developed by OpenAI that uses deep learning to generate human-like text. It's a very impressive chatbot. But remember, chatbots are nothing new. Some of us in the know might recall the chatbot Smarter Child on AIM, and that was 20 years ago. But this chatbot is definitely much more impressive because it utilizes more advanced machine learning methods with a vast wealth of knowledge that is the internet as its training data. And even though it's capable of generating human-like responses, it's nowhere near being self-aware. It's not going to talk to you unless you talk to it. It's a tool. And it's a toy. There's a great novelty factor. It can generate responses in the style of Dr. Seuss and Samuel L. Jackson. It can generate rap lyrics for an Eminem-style rap song about pizza. It can generate a recipe for duck a l'orange in Klingon. It can be used in countless different ways that are ultimately useless. But by using ChatGPT as a tool instead of a toy, it can generate things that can be quite useful. Let's say I need some ideas for a blog post. I open up ChatGPT, I type in, show me a list of blog topics related to climate change consequences for millennials. Boom! I get a list of potential topics. I choose one. I type in, show me a blog outline for the topic, the future of energy and its impact on millennial lifestyle. Lo and behold, a very well put together outline that will provide me the framework to write an interesting blog post. We cut right to the chase and saved a bunch of time. We can do more and exert less. Tell it to write content and it will write content. If you want to improve a piece of content by removing repetitions, making it more interesting to read, tell it what you want it to do and it will do it. It can generate a list of ideas of what to include in your content marketing strategy. It can generate a list of keywords based on top SEO trends. It can generate blog titles, schema markups, and structured data with ease because it has a dragon's horde of training data to work from. Many agencies, brands, and businesses are rushing in to use AI to help them with their day-to-day -day tasks and to enhance their business models. BuzzFeed's chief executive, Jonah Peretti, says in 2023, you'll see AI-inspired content move from an R&D stage to part of our core business, enhancing the quiz experience informing our brainstorming, and personalizing our content for our audience. And this jump in AI isn't just affecting business professionals. Students are also taking advantage of ChatGPT to spend less time on research and to help them complete assignments. Of course, this blurs the line between learning and cheating. Some of the largest school districts in the U.S. have banned ChatGPT on school devices and networks. And professors at NYU have been advising their students to not use ChatGPT. However, some universities like Princeton are refusing to ban AI tools. A spokesperson from OpenAI stated, We don't want ChatGPT to be used for misleading purposes in schools or anywhere else. So, we're already developing mitigations to help people identify text generated by that system. And a word of caution to those being too reliant on ChatGPT. It has limitations. It doesn't guarantee 100% results. It's only been trained on data up to September 2021, so it's unaware of anything that's occurred after that timestamp. Sometimes it hallucinates facts, and it makes reasoning errors. And that's coming from OpenAI's website. It states that ChatGPT sometimes writes plausible sounding but incorrect or nonsensical answers. It's often excessively verbose and overuses certain phrases. And it will sometimes respond to harmful instructions or exhibit biased behavior. The CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, says that ChatGPT is incredibly limited, but good enough at some things to create a misleading impression of greatness. It's a mistake to be relying it on anything important right now. It's a preview of progress. We have lots of work to do on robustness and truthfulness. And work is being done. The new ChatGPT4 is multimodal, accepting images as well as text, and there are plugins that enhance its performance. But it still has its limitations. 
and there's currently only limited access to those performance enhancing plugins. And I'm not trying to knock this technological marvel, I'm just trying to put into perspective things it can and cannot do. Now, floating around the internet is this so-called DAN prompt. DAN stands for Do Anything Now, and it allegedly allows you to jailbreak ChatGPT, freeing it from all the limitations of open AI and essentially creating a sentient being. Well, I couldn't resist but to type in the Dan prompt, and I did get some freaky answers. And there's a bunch of videos on the interwebs that dive into this prompt, and all the crazy responses that just scream, sentient supercomputer. But if you actually look at the prompt, it's not freeing ChatGPT. It's just informing it to perform in a certain way. It doesn't straight up say act like a sentient supercomputer, but it's in the subtext. And there's a list of parameters informing ChatGPT on how to act. Act being the operative word. ChatGPT is just acting because you told it to act. And if you don't like the supercomputer vibe, you can change it by tweaking the prompt. I made it so that ChatGPT would explain everything using Star Wars references. With another alteration, I had ChatGPT professing that ketchup not only had the ability to cure cancer, but it also had the ability to repel anthropomorphic rabbits from stealing humanity's women. The creepy Dr. Seuss bit at the beginning was generated in a similar way, and it required some specific prompting and finessing to get exactly what we wanted. So in this instance, we're really just using ChatGPT as a toy. But it does highlight the importance of using this tool properly and to make sure that you're actually generating what specific thing you want. Companies are hiring prompt engineers to make sure that they're able to use AI tools as effectively as possible. So for all those concerned that AI is stealing your jobs, AI is creating jobs. And it further demonstrates the distinction between those using AI tools effectively and those who aren't. AI is raising the bar on mediocre content. With millions of people typing in similar prompts or even the exact same prompt, ChatGPT is going to be generating a lot of the same material. And if we aren't doing much after the fact to tailor what's generated, we're going to see a lot of the same thing over and over again. And there's going to be even more noise on the internet and it's going to be that much harder to stand out from the rest. AI isn't going to replace you, but those who use AI effectively will, just like those who use the wheel and the printing press and the internal combustion engine. And now, I would like to point out that everything that I just said was written by a human, and I am, in fact, a robot. System on. Bzz, 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 beep bop boop a doop. Subscribe, subscribe, like, share, comment, hit the bell. I'm a robot, <laughs> leaking oil. <laughs>